All right, this is not a live picture from anywhere in North Carolina, but I figured to honor our one week anniversary from getting our snow event of the season, we'd go about six miles up the road into West Virginia. This is at Snowshoe, one of the uh, great East Coast ski resorts. We've got several in our own state, but this one actually has real and fake snow falling on the ground right now. Pretty shot there, but it's 12 degrees. I don't know if I'd call that pretty. This is pretty. This is the complete opposite weather, almost 70 degrees as we look live at our uh, CBS friends down in Miami, Florida. That is what's going on in South Florida. So somewhere in between is where we are. We had sunshine, we had chilly temperatures, we had wind, but we don't have the coldest air of the season tonight. That was last Saturday, remember? If you were up and at them early that morning, February 22nd, it was 22 degrees. That has been our coldest temperature this season so far. Back to November, December, January, February. Tomorrow morning, we'll be down to 29 degrees. So it's cold, but it's not the coldest. Outside right now, it's chilly, 40s and 50s, but the wind cutting through you a little bit, giving us wind chills that aren't drastically colder, it's just a little bit colder. Our winds right now sustained 10 up to 17 miles per hour, gusting in excess of 20. Now these winds will calm down some as we head into the overnight hours, but we're still gonna call it breezy. And as we go hour by hour, you can see we'll drop down to 41 at eight, 38 at 10 through the 30s overnight, and you're on your way to work and school tomorrow morning, a full work and school week. Those are rough, aren't they? After only, what, going a day and a half last week, kids? 29 is how your Friday morning starts. So the cold front moved through. Now it's in our rear view mirror. It worked, right? Definitely cooler today. It's attached to low pressure, and nearby is high pressure. And when these two opposite pressure systems are close together, whatever's in between is usually a little chaotic in the atmosphere. Now, we didn't have any clouds or rain or anything, but the chaos came in the form of wind, and we'll have those breezy conditions tonight. And we've got mostly dry weather the next few days. I say mostly. I've got two really small chances of precipitation. Let's start off tomorrow morning when, again, it'll be chilly, it'll be sunny and dry, but as we get into the second half of the day, watch what happens late in the afternoon and in the evening. You see a few specks of green showing up about 6 o'clock. That's going to show up as a little bit of light rain, maybe a few sprinkles here on the ground. Remember, the atmosphere is really dry, so anything way up in the clouds is going to have a hard time not evaporating before it gets down to us. So that's one small chance of precipitation. Late Friday night, we're back to dry weather. And then Saturday morning, let's stop it again at 6 a.m. You see another little burst of clouds. That's a little disturbance in the upper atmosphere. But watch what could happen this time. Not sprinkles or light rain, but maybe a couple of snowflakes. I mean, that is a long shot of happening Saturday morning. Both of them are long shots of happening. Friday at 6, Saturday at 9 a.m. But those are the only chances of precipitation we have because later in the day Saturday, we're back to sunny skies. So we can almost shut the radar off. You won't have to worry about dodging a whole lot of rain the next few days, but you might want to bundle up because these are the morning temperatures we're expecting as you leave for work and school, upper 20s. I'll be wearing a coat. I encourage you to do the same. It'll be a breezy day, but a little bit warmer, 52 degrees. Then we get a reinforcing shot of cold air Saturday, only 46. We're back up to 56 on Sunday for the first day of March. Then we've got 60s back Monday and Tuesday. Our next good chance of rain, that's next Wednesday. Our high will be 70, and it's a 60% chance of rain. And as you look at the exclusive 10-day forecast, Wednesday also has our next cold front. That cold front will drop us back into the 60s on Thursday, back into the 50s Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And the thing I love about having the 10-day forecast is we always get to almost see two weekends. I mean, what's better than that? Next weekend, we turn the clocks ahead one hour.